Two life sentences plus 40 more years with the possibility of parole. The teen charged with the mass shooting at the Clovis Library in August of 2017 is officially sentenced today. 18-year-old Nathaniel Jewett's sentence is less time than what the state was asking for. Jewett's counsel was asking for only 20 years in prison with parole. However, the judge ruled the lives of those he took deserved a harsher sentence. KAMR Local 4's Maggie Glenn has details. That story topping our news tonight at 10. On August 28, 2017, with the quiet of the Clovis Carver Library was shattered as gunshots rang out. Today, on February 15, 2019, the source of those gunshots, Nathaniel Jewett, receives his sentencing. It was almost as if the words from Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness had leapt from the library shelves and came to life. The horror the horror. That horror now sends Jewett to life in prison. Doctors testified that Jewett may have been in, quote, psychological turmoil leading up to the shooting and maybe was facing some issues with peers. But Judge Hudson says Jewett knew exactly what he was doing. Nathaniel posted a picture of the backpack holding the weapons and the ammunition on social media while he was in the library with the caption, it begins. While he may express remorse for his actions like he did earlier this week in court. I am absolutely horrified by my actions and I take full responsibility. I deserve to be in prison for what I've done. He's now getting what he says he deserves. The judge's official ruling, two life sentences for the two first-degree murders of library employees Wanda Walters and Christina Carter. These sentences will run concurrently, meaning Jewett will serve them both at the same time with a possibility but no guarantee of parole. Four others were also injured in the shooting, including a 10-year-old boy, and others were put in danger. And for those counts, Jewett will receive an additional 40 years in prison, consecutive to his life sentence. Live in studio, Maggie Glenn, KMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Maggie, thank you. It's worth noting that the state of New Mexico does not have capital punishment. That was abolished there back in 2009.